moving at this point, it's going to trigger his predatory instinct. Now, paramount in this situation is not losing your mind to fear. You have to remain calm, which is hard when like a 1,200-pound grizzly runs at you. But if you run from him, he will eat you. He can run 40 miles per hour. You will not outrun him. If it's a black bear and you try to climb a tree, the black bear will climb the tree and will eat you. So when he charges you, you stop. Stop. Now, at this point, he's either going to veer off or he's actually going to attack me. <laughs> if he attacks me, the very first thing, depending on species of bear, if it's a black bear, you want to start fighting the bear at this point. No matter what weapon you have, <laughs> if it's just your bare hands, bears have two weaknesses, their eyes and their nose. A punch to a bear's nose is generally, if it's a black bear, enough to scare it off. If it's a brown bear, get down on the ground, on your stomach, lace your fingers together, elbows out wide, legs spread apart so the bear can't flip you over. The bear's going to fight you as if you were another bear. He's going to try to take your weapons from you, your weapons being your face. So the bear's always going to start mauling your head first. Now with a brown bear, because he generally...